Good morning, Jane Dela Cruz. Thank you so much for joining me. It's Sunday. It's day 50 of our sixth month Be Fit for Christ Tummy Testimony, where we're doing 500 crunches each and every day. We're learning 25 scriptures, and I will be adding on next week to those, so get ready. And today, out of the three psalms that we're reciting and learning, we're doing Psalm 91. Real quick, I just want to talk with you about the resurrection, our new bodies. You know, we're working on these temporal bodies, yes, to be able to last in them and be strong and be healthy. But really, like what a scene. At the sound of the Lord's trumpet, the dead in Christ will emerge from their resting places and their bodies will soar into the sky to reunite with their spirits, which have been residing in heaven with Jesus. Close behind them will be believers who haven't yet departed this life. They'll miraculously be changed as they are caught up to meet the Lord in the air. We're going to need a new body with which to enjoy the new heaven and new earth that Jesus is preparing for his followers. Isn't that exciting? Oh my gosh, that gives me so much joy and excitement just to think about that. Earthly uh, flesh and these homes, these bones will not do. They age, they break, they succumb to sin. So God promised to transform our humble structures into glorious bodies, just like the one Christ had after his resurrection. Common temptation and limitations will be gone. Sickness will be gone. Oh my gosh. We will no longer be restricted by time and space. Remember, Jesus didn't bother even using doors. Uh, with our new bodies, we will be suited for the environment where we are to dwell forever and ageless eternity in which all of our needs are perfectly met. You have to be grateful. I wake up every day because I know the promises of God. This should be exciting to you. All of our needs will be met perfectly. We'll be absolutely sinless. At last, you and I will be the persons that God intends us to be. And we'll be housed in a body fashioned like that of Christ. Perfect, sinless, and complete. No matter what happens in our lives here to us, um, these bodies are temporary we have so much to look forward to as believers no matter what know all of god's promises for you and i are yes and amen and the reason i start each and every day with a grateful heart father we just pray real quick thank you lord thank you for your love your grace and your mercy we know as your sons and daughters we can trust you for our futures from now on till that day comes i will live for you and share the good news it is the best news and everyone in the planet needs to know that you are lord you are christ and you are our savior and we're going to get to live with you forever if we just believe. All right, here we go. Isn't that exciting? I think it's exciting. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Okay, we are actually going to start and do some uh, things a little bit differently. We're going to do the crunch, kick, crunch, twist, and kick. Okay, for 25 on each foot, and we'll start our scriptures. And our core scriptures, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, who is from God, and you are not your own, but you are bought at a price? Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit, because they're His, they're God's. We are not our own. Well, I fully believe that. Okay, let's go. We run. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not upon your understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil, for this will be help to your flesh and strength to your bones. In Proverbs 24, 16, for the righteous fall seven times and rise again. Hold, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Let's switch. Come on. Let's go fast today. We're gonna get it done. I gotta go to church. My favorite day of the week, Sunday. Oh, I love praising God um, at church. It's just so much fun. I love the music, I love the songs. I love the worship. Come on, come on guys. Let's go. Let's wake up with a grateful spirit each and every day. 
to serve the Lord, to be all in for Him, 100%, not just in some areas of your life, but in everything and all that you do and say. Woo! Okay, let's keep going. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. In Philippians 4, 13, I, we can do all things through Christ. Who ah. <laughs> strengthens us? Okay, I'm trying to get my head in there. I don't want to be cut off in the video. I think I'm a little close again. Sorry about that. Okay, good job. And we're just going to push it up and push our arms over our head. Push it up. Okay, let's keep going. Our next one um, is Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Whew. I'm feeling it today. I think because I ran and walked, which I haven't been doing. Wow, but I feel better. I feel stronger. A little sore, but I feel stronger. Keep going. Matthew 7, 7. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door will be answered. In Isaiah 40, 31. It's but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Okay, real quick. I'm going to do in and out. And up and out. Keep going. You're doing awesome. After this, we'll be at 100 already. Okay, second week, Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. In Hebrews 11, 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. That is so true. In Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly, lowly at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hold, two, three, four, five. Okay, real quick, we're just doing, put, make a fist with your arms, make them nice and strong, and just push them up and down with tension. Hold that tummy nice and tight. And first John 4, 4 is greater is he than is in us, than he that is in the world. And James 4, 7. Submit to God. Resist the devil. It's okay to get mad at the devil if he's trying to mess with you. Just get mad. Now, one of our scriptures in the Bible says, be angry and sin not. It's okay to be mad at the devil. You have to say, no, devil. Get behind me. You're not messing with me. Depression is from the devil. It is a dark spirit. Anger is from the devil. It's a dark spirit. Say no. Sickness is a dark spirit. Say no. I don't get sick. I say no. Even if I do get a cold, I get rid of it right away. I don't allow my body to be sick. I say no. In Jesus' name, I have the power and authority to heal and be well. By his stripes, I am healed. Amen. <laughs> I went off on that, but must be for somebody out there. Okay, let's see. I think we got week two, now week three. All right, we're going to go in and out. Try and touch your heels of your shoes when you're going out. Really reach up. Really reach up. We're at 150 now. And we're on week three. It's John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes shall not perish but have everlasting life. In John 14, 6, it's I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Ooh, keep going. You're doing great. Keep breathing. If you need to take a break, take a break. Take a couple of breaths. Give your knees a hug. All right, what else do we have? Romans. 3.23, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 8.28, and we know that all things work together for good 
to those who love him, to those who are called according to his purpose. In Romans 12, 2, it's do not be conformed to this world. We are not of this world. Yes, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Oh. We are just passing through. So don't get stuck here. This is not your home. Okay. So do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Keep going. We're doing a little painting crunches. And what else? Philippians 4, 6. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Okay, get ready to do some side crunches with our elbows and opposite knee. 25 each, and then we'll be ready for half over on the plank. Hold, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. And then this one, one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I think that was week three. Um, I believe I missed one from week two. It was Matthew 19, 26. And it's um, with man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. These, these scriptures are like little seeds. They're like vitamins for your body and your soul and your spirit. And build up your faith in the one who loves you. And gave himself for you. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live in faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Hold, two, three, four, five. We're almost halfway there. Great job, you guys. Great job. Coming up next after this... Uh, Six months of tummy testimony. I'm going to be doing a body tummy class with music, and I can't wait. I just, I just love any kind of songs and music that gets me going. I was trying to think about doing something instrumental for this, but I just do so much talking that it might be a distraction. So I'm going to wait, but get ready for some fun workouts. To be fit for Christ. Okay, our next scripture is John 10, 10. The thief does not come except for to kill, steal, and destroy. But I have come to give them life, and that they may have life more abundantly. In Isaiah 54, 13, as all your children will be taught of the Lord, and great will be the peace of your children. And I was thinking yesterday about uh, Luke 6, 38. Give, and it shall be given good measure. Pressed together, no, pressed down and shaken together, will be running over into your bosom. For with the same measure you give, will be measured back to you. <clears throat> if I don't think they are talking just about money, I think they're talking about everything time, love, patience, goodness, pretty much everything. Yes, our money is all his too. But I think it's more than just money that he's describing and talking about. Okay. Whew. I don't know about you, but I feel a little bit like I'm getting a good workout today. All right. And I hope you're taking a picture of your tummy every once in a while. I think today I will. I feel a little bit lighter. And so we're going to read Psalm 91. I have my Bible out. I hope you do too. And here we go. Yeah. Hold this. A little bit further. Okay. Like a nice strong boar. And it's he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. You are my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I will trust. Surely you shall deliver me from the perilous pestilence. No. From the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. You shall cover me with your feathers and under your wings. Uh, you shall take refuge. 
His truth is, will be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies at day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lies waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. See? Don't be afraid. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the rewards of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your habitation, nothing, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for you shall, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up with their hands, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him, I will set him on high. Because he has known my name, he shall call upon me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him, ooh, my salvation. Oh, I cannot hold that any longer, guys. Okay, good job. We are at 300. We are going to hold here, and it's going to be worth 50. Let's hold for 30. Let's get that side bridge going. You can do it. We're going to be at 350. We're going to do another side, we're going to 400. And then today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do 50 real full blown sit ups because those work the best. Keep going. Keep your time. Other side. Okay, you can do it. It's okay to shake like I'm shaking. Just try and hold it. All that you can. Yes. Can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Yes. Keep going. Keep holding. Yeah, halfway there. We're just trying to learn how to honor God in all we do, even working out. And I'm here to. Just make sure that you have the victory in Christ in your life and that you know about his love, how much he loves you. I don't think people know. Okay, let's stretch out. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good job. Okay, okay. Nice job. Okay, here we go. It's Russian twist time. And then we're gonna go in and out, okay? All right, ready, go. All right, a little more. Another 400. There's 10. Three. There's 25. Here we go. There's five. Here we go. 25, you can do it. There's 20, One, two, three, four, five. Back to Russian twist. Almost there, guys. We can do it. Breathe. Five more. Good job, man. Last thing. Come on. It's okay if you're tired.
six, seven, eight, come on, two more, nine, ten. Great job, day 50. That's a big celebration for us. Good job, you guys. I just want to bless you. I want the Lord to bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and give you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace. Go out and be the church to the unchurch. Be the salt. Be the light. The world needs us. Love you guys. Thanks for joining me.